so there's three critical apps that you have to have before you can start installing software in your car that are going to make this usable and enjoyable. We've got a TV splitter and a TV out, um, which I'm going to show you in just a second. We've got Backgrounder, which lets you run multiple apps in the background all at the same time. And we also have a thing called 3G Unrestrictor, which lets you have the same type of features you'd have on your Wi-Fi network over 3G. So let's start with TV out. You go into settings. After you've installed TV out from the Cedia store, here's how you configure it. There's three things at the top here, enable TV out, touch marker, and force TV out. All those things can be on. Um, and we have screen position, which is basically how it outputs the video and the layout on the screen. Screen size is pretty obvious as well. Uh, how big do you want the image to be broadcast? These are all the appropriate settings for the monitor that we're gonna use in our kit. And then with the horizontal position, this is all touchscreen calibration because when your screen goes black, you have to know where to put your finger on the touchpad. Um, we've got options for, you know, can you see your, since you can't see your finger, you want to be able to see a little red dot where your finger is. And that'll help train you to get used to touch, using your iPhone as a touchpad and then having the display come out on the dashboard. So it takes a little bit of getting used to, but this red dot that the TV out application generates will help you get used to that and help you use your touchscreen as a touchpad and then the seven inch display up on the dashboard as your primary display. So the next app you need is an application called Backgrounder. When you pick up your iPhone from the Apple Store by default, it can only run one application at a time. But if you wanna do something like listen to music at the same time you're navigating, that's impossible to do because out of the box, you can only run one application at a time. So Backgrounder lets you be a multitasker on your phone. So an example of an app I have running at all times in the background is GPS Tracker, which we'll get to a little bit later. And you can see that it's running in the background because I've got this little dot, a little flower looking thing that's down in the lower left hand corner of the icon on the home screen. And what GPS Tracker will do is report my position over the internet to a server and then all my friends on Facebook and other places can see where my phone is at any given time. So I've got that running in the background. Let's say we wanted to listen to some tunes. So I'm gonna run Pandora. And I'm gonna go ahead and background this right now. And while we're waiting for that music to load, I'm gonna go look at a navigation application like Waze. And I'm gonna go ahead and background Waze and see how my music is loading in the other screen here. Now the backgrounding is enabled, I can just press the home button and leave Pandora. It continues to stream music in the background, and now I can go over and look at ways to do my navigation. All right, so the next app you have to have is a thing called 3G Unrestrictor. Now, without 3G Unrestrictor, a lot of apps are completely disabled and some are crippled. So for example, Pandora without 3G Unrestrictor has very bad satellite quality sounding radio but when you use 3G Unrestrictor on it, it makes it sound just like you're on a Wi-Fi network. A more advanced application like ITV, which we'll show in a separate video, can actually stream live TV over the 3G network. And without 3G Unrestrictor, you wouldn't be able to do that. AT&T is trying to limit the amount of bandwidth that's flowing over their network. So lots of things like podcasts, um, radio streaming radio applications, you can't run without using the 3G unrestrictor. So basically, again, what this does is it fakes your phone into thinking like it's installed on a Wi-Fi network so you get the best of the best features when you're on the go.